नमस्कार आप सभी का एक बार पुनः स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल आप देख रहे हैं पीएम ई विद्या चैनल्स चैनल नंबर नौ पर हाजिर हैं हम साइंस का लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन लेकर और आज इसमें हम बात करने वाले हैं जीवों की जो विविधता है उसके बारे में जीवों में विविधता इसका भाग तीन है आज हमारा पाठ जिसको हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं और आपको ये पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे साथ सुशील कुमार जी हैं आप केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज लखनऊ में अपनी सेवाएं दे रहे हैं सुशील जी नमस्कार आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है गुड इवनिंग एक्चुअली गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड आफ्टरनून सर कैसे हैं आप आई एम फाइन सर सो सो हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फोर किंगडम ओके ऑफ द फाइव किंगडम सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द किंगडम मोनेरा देन द किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा then the kingdom fungi and then the kingdom and uh, planty and today we are going to discuss about the kingdom animalia so okay. our students uh, uh, please uh, write down about the uh, important characters of the kingdom animalia so uh, kingdom animalia uh, have the organism which are eukaryotic multicellular and heterotrophic heterotrophic means they are not capable of synthesizing their food as they are lacking the chlorophyll they did not have cell wall most animals are mobile means they have the locomotory organelle and uh, 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 they they are further classified based on the type of the body design differentiation etc so in the later on we will discuss about the all animals that are put in the kingdom animalia are divided into two main category uh, group vertebrata and group invertebrata so let us start with the group invertebrata so in the group invertebrata uh, we will discuss about the uh, yes so uh, we will discuss about the first phylum that is the porifera so as the name is suggesting porifera Word is made up of two uh, word. One is known as por, and another one is the fera. So uh, the porifera means the organism with holes. These organisms are usually non-motile, and they remain uh, attached with the some of the substratum, as well as uh, their body is covered by the uh, various pores. Uh, they have a unique system that is known as canal system. that help in the circulating water throughout the body to bring in food and oxygen uh, the body of the phylum porifera member is covered by outside layer or skeleton that is made up of calcium carbonate or uh, sulfur containing spicules also are found so uh, previously it was assumed that they are not animal but later on scientists have found that they have are doing so many of the metabolic activity that is why they are kept in the phylum porifera so uh, in the phylum porifera one is the unique thing that is the cellular grade of body organization is found means the body is made up of various cells so uh, usually the member of the phylum porifera is known as a sponge and these are mainly found in marine habitat so uh, these are the example like euplectella like cycan or it is known as scypha or euplectella is known as venus flower basket and uh, uh, spongella it is the only fresh water sponge so rest sponge are the marine habitat but spongella is the fresh water sponge means it is found in the fresh water so one of the sponge we people are using for the bathing that is known as eu spongia so that is uh, skeleton of the eu spongia being used by we people in bathing uh, so nahane ke samay hum log uska upyog karte hain iske skeleton ka eu uh, spongia ka uh, another phylum is known as cilentrata so uh, it is also known as nidaria these are the animal which lives in water so they show more body design differentiation the first tissue uh, is reported in the phylum cilentrata so uh, student you all are well aware that tissue is the group of the cell 
having the similar structure, similar origin and function. So uh, the phylum cylindrata is uh, having the organism which have the first tissue. The body is made up of two layers of the cell. One make up cells on the outside of the body that is known as ectoderm and another layer is known as inner lining of the body that is known as endoderm. We can say these animals are diploblastic means having two germ layer. Some of these species live in the colonies like coral reef. So you have heard about the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. So it is the largest coral reef that is being reported. And uh, uh, other organisms have a solitary like habit like uh, hydra. Uh, so it is known as fresh water polyp. There is an animal which did not have any skeleton. So it is known as jellyfish and another example is sea animal. So these are the examples. Uh, students, uh, we are moving to the next phylum. This is known as phylum platyhelminths. So body of the animal of the platyhelminths, as the name is suggesting, platy means flat and helminth means warm. So uh, the, the uh, worms that have flattened body being uh, kept in the phylum platyhelminths. So the body is bilaterally symmetrical. The meaning of bilaterally symmetrical means the left and right half of the body have the same design. Like we people are also bilaterally symmetrical. There are three layers of the cell means triploblastic animal. And the animals, you know, most of the animals are parasitic and some of the animals are free living. And uh, out of the all animals, uh, uh, all animals have uh, uh, did not have the body cavity that is known as coelom. So uh, they are said to be the acelomate. The body is dorsoventrally flattened. Uh, uh, they are either free living or parasitic, as we have already so uh, discussed. Uh, there is one example that is known as planaria or dojacia. So it is the free living organism as well as it have high power of regeneration means if the any part of the body being cut so planaria is able to grow that lost part. Other animals uh, are parasitic like liver fluke you have heard about uh, that is known as fasciola hepatica. So these all are the uh, so, uh, examples uh, like planaria or dojacia it is free living and liver fluke that is the fasciola hepatica is the parasitic worm and uh, it usually lives in the uh, sheep inside the sheep and it causes the liver rot disease in sheep. Uh, another organism you will be able to see under uh, that is known as tapeworm. So it is known as tinea solium. So tinea solium is popularly known as uh, uh, that is known as pork tapeworm or another species of the uh, tinea that is known as tinea saginata, it is known as beef tapeworm. So students, those who are fond of eating the uh, meat and they, uh, if they are eating the meat which is unripe, so they are more prone to get the infection of the tapeworm. If they are eating the, uh, that is known as beef, so uh, they may be uh, infected by the beef tapeworm that is the tinea saginata or if pupils that are eating the meat of the pig that is the pork so uh, they are more prone to be infected by the tinea solium so uh, uh, it is my suggestion that please be vegetarian so that we can also uh, uh, remain free of the such infection uh, friends uh, another phylum that is known as nematoda so nema means thread so in this phylum uh, the organisms which are bilaterally symmetrical and having the thread like body being kept in this phylum uh, the body is, uh, some animals have the cylindrical body and uh, in these organisms there are the three germ layers so uh, the but uh, here the body cavity or coelom is not lined by the mesoderm that is why it is said to be the pseudo -sylum. The word pseudo means false. So the organism of the phylum nematoda having false -sylum. These are uh, 
uh, usually parasitic worm and causing so many of the disease. Uh, students, you have heard about the hati palm or field palm disease, a uh, data known as elephantiasis. So it is caused by the filarial worm and uh, that is known as bucheria. And it is spread by the culex mosquito, that is the female culex spreading the filarial worm infection. And there are another worm. So in the childhood, you have uh, also came across of the pin worm or chunna. So chinune jo bachpan mein kaatte the, wo isi phylum mein rakhe gaye hain. There is one of the parasite that is known as Ascaris. So Ascaris is known as round worm. And uh, these uh, nematode usually uh, endoparasite means they live inside the body of the we people and take up the nutrition of the uh, our body so that is we people are, uh, usually eat so these organisms get the nutrition from the body so uh, uh, these are very uh, uh, fatal and uh, if anyone ha having the infection of uh, such worm so uh, they um, may be uh, 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 they, these worm causing uh, the weakness as well as other problems and uh, they usually uh, so the uh, loss of appetite and uh, uh, anemic person uh, so anemic condition may be also seen so another uh, phylum that is known as annelida so the white annelida is made up of annulus means ringed like animal so the animals who have ringed like structure is kept in the phylum annelida. So usually the member of the annelida uh, phylum is the bilaterally symmetrical and they are triploblastic means having three germ layer, ectoderm, endoderm and inside uh, in between the ectoderm and endoderm there is the another layer that is known as mesoderm. They have a true body cavity. So uh, usually uh, they are the u silomate or uh, we can say the cytosilomate condition is found. The mesoderm layer is lining the body cavity that is known as coelom and inside the coelom there are various organs are found. So uh, there is extensive organ differentiation is found and uh, these animals are found in variety of the habitat like fresh water, like marine water as well as on the land. And uh, uh, Rahul ji, we have heard about the earthworm that yes. is popularly known as Quechua. Mm -hmm. Or it is Kisan ka dost kaha jata hai. Ji. Because ye uh, jameen ko pula karta reta hai, andar se khukla karke aur ji. usme uh, kahin na kahin se aeration mein madad karta hai. Right. Uh, you have heard about the leech, jisse hum log commonly jonk kehte hain. Ji. It is sanguivorous, ye blood sucking hota hai. So, जो animal खून पीते हैं वो sanguivorous animal कहलाते हैं ये शरीर के ऊपर parasite होता है इसलिए इन्हें ectoparasite कहते हैं ecto means outside of parasite means to take the nutrition from the organism so uh, there are the cattle leech as well as some leech are also parasite on the human being when we take the bath of the uh, place where the leeches are found so uh, these are, are the pictures which are showing the example of the phylum annelida. So on the one hand there is the leech, on the other hand there is the earthworm and one organism is also is kept in this phylum. So this is known as neris. It is known as sandworm or ragworm. So let us move to the another phylum. So another phylum is phylum arthropoda. Students the word arthro means jointed and the word poda means leg. So usually the animals that are kept in the phylum arthropoda have jointed leg. That is why they are known as jointed leg animal. Uh, these animals usually have the three germ layer and uh, they have a uh, segmented and symmetrical or bilaterally symmetrical body. Uh, blood does not flow in well-defined blood vessel. The coelomic cavity is blood filled. Uh, they have a jointed leg, as I have already told. And uh, it is the largest group of animal, Rahul ji. Puri dharti par sabse jada isi phylum ke animal paaya jate hain. Aapne hamne dekhiya hoga is phylum ke antar gati class aati hai jise insect kehte hain. Insecta, that is the hexapoda. Chhe paon wale chote chote kiede makode hote hain. Yoh isi phylum mein rakhe gai. Or dharti par Rahul ji, ये हम लोगों के आने से पहले ये धरती पर आ गए थे इवोल्यूशन के दौरान 
आज भी सक्सेसफुली सफलता पूर्वक धरती पर राज्य कर रहे हैं सो देर आर सम एनिमल्स लाइक प्रॉन लाइक बटरफ्लाई लाइक हाउस फ्लाई लाइक स्पाइडर्स लाइक स्कॉर्पियंस एंड क्रेप्स तो दीज आर द वेरियस एग्जाम्पल सो माई स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सी द वेरियस एनिमल्स दैट आर फाउंड इन द इन आवर विसिनिटी इन आवर सराउंडिंग एंड रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द हाउस फ्लाई ranging from the uh, that is known as uh, honey bee or butterfly or uh, there is the spider or mosquito so so many kind of the creatures are surrounding us and uh, these are the uh, these uh, this phylum has the largest group of the organisms that are found over the earth so some of the insect are beneficial and some are the harmful uh, so uh, another phylum is phylum mollusca so that the word molluscs molluscs means soft so these are the basically soft bodied animal but the soft body is covered by hard shelled structure that is made up of uh, chuna patthar or calcium carbonate uh, there is little segmentation and there is uh, circulatory system as well as kidney like structure or organ is found for excretion there is a foot like structure that is used for the moving around एंड uh, हम और आप लोगों ने देखा होगा बच्चों पाइला जैसे हम घोंगा कहते हैं स्नेल यूनियो सीपी कहते हैं हम लोग कौड़ी जो जानते हैं कौड़ी इसी फाइलम में रखी है हम लोग शंख बजाते हैं जब पूजा करते हैं वो भी इसी फाइलम का मेंबर है और हम लोगों ने सुना होगा ऑक्टोपस इसी डेविल फिस कहते हैं क्योंकि इट हैव ऑक्टो मीन्स एट तो इसमें ऐसे लगते हैं जैसे एट लेग्ड हैं ये कुछ डेविल लाइक दिखाई देता है सो पीपल यूजुअली से डेविल फिश इट इज नॉट ट्रू फिश इट इज ए फॉल्स फिश देयर इज अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज नोन एज सीपिया सो एट एज वेल एज देयर इज अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज नोन एज चाइटोन सो दीज आर आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ द फाइलम मोलस्का अनदर फाइलम आई वुड लाइक टू गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज द इकाइनोडर्मिटा so as the name is suggesting echino means hua spiny and the word derma means skin so in greek echino means the hedgehog or kaater ki tarah jo structure hoti hai use greek bhasha mein hum echino kehte hain so inke sharir ke upar chote chote kaaton ki tarah structure pai jati hai that is why these are known as spiny skin organism the organism are exclusively free living marine animal All animals are found in the sea water. They are triploblastic and have a coelomic cavity. They also have a eunuch system that is known as water vascular system. So that this system only and only found in the phylum Echinodermata. That uh, and uh, they have hard calcium carbonate, which we call chuna patthar, like a structure. Are uh, that uh, used as a skeleton? So there are some examples like sea star and sea urchin. So uh, you have heard about the starfish. So it looks like a star. That is why it is known as a starfish. It is also a false fish. It is not true fish. So Asterias is known as sea star or starfish. There is Echinus that is known as sea urchin, and another one is the Antidon that is known as feather star. एंड समुद्र में सी कोकुम्बर की तरह समुद्री खीरे की तरह एक स्ट्रक्चर दिखाई देती है लेकिन बच्चों ये रियल खीरे की तरह नहीं होती है ये ऑर्गेनिज्म है इसे हम होलोथ्यूरिया कहते हैं सो डीज ऑल एनिमल्स और आर केप्ट इन द इकाइनोडेमिटा सो लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सो इट इज द प्रोटोकॉर्डेटा सो प्रोटो मीन्स द फर्स्ट एंड कॉर्डा मीन्स डेट इज दीज ऑर्गेनिज्म है यूनिक स्ट्रक्चर that is known as notochord so uh, we can say that notochord is a long rod like a st structure which help in the support uh, that runs along the back of the animal separating the nervous tissue from the gut so notochord provide uh, a place for muscle to attach for ease of movement protochordate may not have a proper notochord present at all stages in their life or for the entire length of animal usually it is found in in the mouth region that is why the notochord is known as stomochord means stoma means mouth so usually the protochords uh, chordates are protochordates are marine animal an example is balenoglossus 
स्टूडेंट्स द वर्ड ग्लोसा मीन्स टंग सो दीज ऑर्गेनिज आर नोन एज बेलेनो ग्लोस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टंग वर्म एन अदर वन इज हाइडमेनिया एंड एम्फियोक्सिस सो हाइडमेनिया एंड एम्फियोक्सिस वी आर केप्ट इन दर डिविजन डेट इज नोन एज यूरोडिटा एंड से फेलो क्वारिटा सो इन द नाइन्थ क्लास दियर इज नॉट ए डिटेल ऑफ दीज फाइलम Sir, so, uh, you have hardly one one and a half minute. Uh, you need to uh, conclude the session. Yes, yes, yes. Please. So, my students, uh, I am giving you some glimpse of the subphylum Vertebrata. We all are the animal of the subphylum Vertebrata. अभी हम लोगों ने Invertebrata की बात की थी. जितने भी phylum पढ़े Invertebrata थी. उनमें vertebral column और notochord नहीं पाई जाती थी. लेकिन protochord के बाद आपने अभी भी proto कोऑर्डिनेट पढ़े प्रोटोकॉर्डिनेट में नोटोकॉर्ड पाई जाती थी जिसे हम स्टोमो कॉर्ड कहते थे सो सब फाइलम वाइटिब्रेटा में यूजुअली uh, वाइटिब्रेट्स जो होते हैं दीज आर द बायोलेटरली सिमेट्रिकल इनमें तीन जर्म लेयर पाई जाती हैं इनमें ट्रू सिलोम होती है जो कि लाइंड होती है मीजोडर्म के द्वारा एंड ऑर्गेनिज्म आर सेगमेंटेड दुनिया के जितने भी वाइटिब्रेट होते हैं स्टूडेंट्स उनमें कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्टर पाए जाते हैं आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस दीज करेक्टर सभी वाइटिब्रेट्स उनमें एक नोटोकॉर्ड पाई जाती है एक रॉड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होती है सभी वाइटिब्रेट्स में एक डॉर्सल नर्व कॉर्ड होती है जीवन की किसी भी अवस्था में ये नोटोकॉर्ड पाई जा सकती है और नर्व कॉर्ड डॉर्सल साइड में पाई जाएगी मतलब जैसे हमारी पीठ की तरफ ऐसे ही नर्व कॉर्ड पाई जाएगी और इन वाइटिब्रेट में वेंट्रल नर्व कॉर्ड पाई जाती है आपको मैं बताना चाहूंगा लेकिन ये वाइटिब्रेट्स हैं इनमें डॉर्सल नर्व कॉर्ड पाई जाती है इनमें तीन जर्मलियर होती हैं और सारी दुनिया के वाइटिब्रेट्स उनमें पेयर्ड गिल पाउच पाए जाते हैं और ये सीलोमेट होते हैं अर्थात इनमें ट्रू सीलोम पाई जाती है जो कि लाइंड होती है मीजोडर्म के द्वारा और पोस्ट एनल टेल पाई जाती है तो बच्चों आज हम लोगों ने इन वाइटिब्रेट्स के बारे में पढ़ा और फेरा में सेलुलर ग्रेड ऑफ बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पाया जाता था निडेरिया और सिलेंट्रेटा में जी सर मैं मैं आपसे बस रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि आप इसे कंक्लूड करें बाद ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ सुशील जी मुझे लगता है यहाँ कंक्लूड करते हैं आज की जो साइंस क्लास है आ, मैं आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कहूंगा बहुत आभार आपने अपना समय निकाला उसके लिए थैंक यू वेरी मच हमारा ये ये सेशन यही समाप्त होता है आप कहीं मत जाइएगा थोड़ी ही देर में हाजिर होते हैं वेबिनार लेकर देखते रहिए पीएम विद्या चैनल नमस्कार